If you want God to build his church and you go ahead and give him some praise. Come on, let's talk about God. I said, if you want God to build his church in you, go ahead and give him some praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Build your church in me.
It's time to build. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Amen. 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 So I'm gonna talk about Esther. I'm gonna talk about Esther. 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 She uh, wasn't raised by her mother and her father. Yeah, yeah. And you know that sound like that may be bad. But actually, it worked out for her good. But in it, it, in it, in it, it worked for her good. Yeah. Because her uncle, Mordecai, trained her in the way of the Lord. You know, I thought about my own life. I wasn't raised by my mother and father either. And I was very, I was a very uh, angry child. Because my father stayed across the street from me. And we didn't have a relationship. But I was raised by my aunt, my aunt and uncle also. But and as a child, I thought that was bad. But that worked for my good. My aunt and uncle, they was old. And they taught me how to love people. Care for people. Care for people. Feed people. <laughs> Clothe people. <laughs> House people. <laughs> Because those were the things that they were doing. All my adult life almost, I blamed my mother for not taking care of me. When I was 50 years old, <laughs> and I did my application for my doctorate degree, and, and on the application it said, how were you raised? How was their morals? And I said, oh my God. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and so I said, uh, when I did the application for the doctorate, it had on the application. How was you raised? How was you raised? What were the morals? And I said, oh my God. God, you didn't want my mother to raise me. And because I would have not had the right morals, and the values a lot of times seems like things is not working out 
The way we want it to work out. Or the way we think it's supposed to work out. But God have a plan for our life. Lakini Mungu hapo ana mpango juu ya maisha yetu. And God wanted me to be raised by my aunt and uncle. Ana kwa sababu Mungu alitaka nikuzwe na mjomba wangu na na auntie. Because I was like I'm like them. Kwa sababu niko kama wao. So sometimes. Kwa hivyo nyakati zingine. Not sometimes but all the time. Nyakati kila wakati. All things work together. Mambo yote utendeka kwa wema. For our good. Kwa wema wetu. Even look the bad work for our good. Hata kama ayonekani ni nzuri kwetu. If we love the Lord. Kama tunampenda Bwana. And if we are called according to his purpose. Na kama tumeitwa kulingana na kusudi lake. Now back to Esther. Turudi kwa Esther. Esther wasn't born a queen. Ah, Esther alikuzaliwa akiwa malkia. He, she was set up. Yeye aliwekwa to be a queen. Lakini Mungu alitaka awe malikia. She was taught and grew. Na alikuzwa of the things of God. Akakuzwa kwa mambo ya kiungu. By her uncle. Ah na mjombaye. And she went through a, a time of preparation. Na akapitia wakati wa kuandaliwa. Preparing her for greatness. Ili akiandaliwa kwa ukuu. God used the natural Mungu akatumia mambo ya asilia and the spiritual ah, ili iweze kutawala mambo ya roho to bring promotion in her life alete kupandishwa cheo maishani mwake she won a beauty contest yeye akashinda kwa wale walikuwa warembo zaidi so god used her beauty Mungu akatumia urembo wake to prepare her kumuandaa to come before the king ili aje mbele ya mfalme She was humble. Yeah, alikuwa amenyenyekea. Knowledgeable. Na alikuwa na ufahamu. Selfless. Yeye hapo anajipenda. Obedient. Alikuwa mtiifu. Passionate. Alikuwa na msukumo. Patient. Na alikuwa anasubira. And she was prepared spiritually. Na alikuwa ameandaliwa kiroho. When she didn't know what to do. Kwa wakati hakujua cha kutenda, she began to fast. Akaanza kufunga. And seek God. Na kumtafuta Mungu for a strategy ili aweze kupata binu or how ah vile mambo yatakuwa to go in and minister to her husband ili aende akaweze kumhudumia mumewe sometimes we we in our families nyakati zingine sisi kaukuchukua kwa jamii we need a strategy tunahitaji yeah. binu on how to win our husbands vile tunasaidi kukaa vizuri na waume zetu how to win our wives How to love our children? Jinsi ya kuwapenda watoto wetu. How to love our neighbors? Ile tutawasaidia kupenda majirani. And we want born with this knowledge. Jinsi atujazaliwa na hii hekima. So we have to do some spiritual things. Kwa hivyo inatubidi tufanye mambo ya kiroho. Like fasting and praying. Kama kufunga na kuomba. To get a strategy. Ili tuweze kupata mbinu ama mwelekeo. On how to go in ili jinsi ya kufanya and win the heart na tuweze kuwaleta mioyo yao karibu of the people you love kwa wale watu ambao unawapenda na Esther had a lot of state Esther alikuwa na mambo mengi ili mbidi ayatende she had a lot hanging on her kuna kulikuwa na mengi alikuwa yananinginia kwake but she used the strategy lakini alitumia ile mbinu that she had gotten ambaye alikuwa amepata in her fasting and praying kwa kufunga kwake na kuomba instead of going in and talking to the king badala ya kwenda na kuongea na mfalme she began to praise and worship him alianza kusifu na kumuinua Mungu with a feast na akiwa akukiwa na karamu and she didn't just do it one time na akufanya tu mara moja she did it again alifanya tena na tena and it's something when you begin to worship and praise somebody na kuna kitu kutendeka ukianza kuzifu mtu even when you worship and praise god hata jinsi vile unavyomwabudu mungu god begin to move on your behalf mungu anaanza kutembea kwa njia zako he begin to say what do you want akaanza kukuuliza wewe mwanangu unahitaji nini when you surrender give him your everything wakati umejisalimisha yeye anakupea kila kitu he begin to give you everything ataanza kukupea kila kitu so esther kwa hivyo esther a little Jewish 
care of. And Because see, this thing was bigger than what you think it is. Because this had to do with a whole race. The whole Jewish Jewish race. Because if God hadn't given her the strategy, we wouldn't be here today. Because the Messiah, Jesus, would come through the Jewish race. And if that race was exterminated, Christ wouldn't have came. So this woman was powerful. She was so powerful. But she knew what to do. Hallelujah. 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 She, she knew how to win. Her man's heart. Amen. We prayed. She didn't ask him for nothing. She didn't complain. She even hid her identity. That she was a Jewish girl. So women, it's time to build. It's time to build your family. It's time to build your man up. It's time, men, to build your women up. With praise. Giving them a feast. I know it's somebody in here. Yeah. 
So we got to be wise women. A wise woman. Be a wise woman. Be a wise woman. That's not how you do it. And then it was one that I sat under. She had a powerful supernatural anointing. But she humbled herself before her husband. She didn't try to rule over her husband. When he would come in, she would sit down. She would give him his honor. And I saw that man give her one of his big cathedrals to pastor. So women, we got to be humble. Not doormats. But humble. Loving. Loving. Honor our, our husbands. And honor our, our children also. Build them up. 
and encourage them. So when they're great, you're great also. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Wings. It's time.
time to increase your influence, impact, and income potential by advertising your business, ministry, services, products, books, upcoming conferences, retreats, or courses with the Women of Influence magazine. Visit us at www.woimagazine.com to get your advertisement in today. We look forward to getting your business or event or products exposed. We have our next speaker for the hour. And I want y'all to show her some love. It's none other than Minister Jamie. Being abused, abusing drugs, alcohol, and so many things. But she's decided to be pure for Christ. Yeah, yeah, I want to be If you say, I am 
clumsy. Mimi sina uwezo. Clumsiness comes to look for you. Ah wale ubaya unakuja kutafuta. I am so old. Mimi ni mzee sana. Wrinkles come to look for you. Oh, kwa kwa kama chapati kunakuja kwako. Uso unakaa chapati kuna. I am so overweight. Mimi niko na uzito mwingi. Calories come to look for you. Oh, mafuta yote yanakuja kutafuta. If you say you are healthy. Kama utasema uko na afya njema. Health comes to look for you. Afya njema inakuja kutafuta. Whenever you speak a word. Chochote neno lolote unalolinena. You are planting you are like you are planting seeds. Siku neno lolote unalolinena unapanda mbegu. So whatever seed that you sow. Mbegu yoyote unayoipanda. Kwa hivyo ndani yako kuna asma. Saying that you are so broke. Usiseme mimi nimekaukiwa. Saying that you have a lot of debt. Usiseme niko na mandeni tu nguzima. You are sending out invitations to struggle and lack. Wewe unatuma mwaliko wa kungangana na kukosa. Get up in the morning. Amuka asubuhi. Invite good things. Akaribisha vitu vizuri. Speak this I am over your life. Eh eh hebu nena I am blessed. I am prosperous. Mimi nime nimefanikiwa. I am successful. Mimi ninatembea vizuri. I am victorious. Nimejaa ushindi. I am talented. Niko na talanta. I am creative. Mimi niko na ninaweza kubuni. I am wise. Mimi niko na hekima. I am healthy. Niko na afya njema. I am in shape. Mimi niko na hali nzuri. I am energetic. Niko na I am happy. Niko na furaha. I am positive. Niki niki ni mtazamo wangu ni mzuri. The last I am. Ile ya mwisho ambayo nilie. I am the child of the most high God. Mimi ni mtoto wa Mungu aishie. Amen. Hallelujah. Whatever you confess. Chochote unachokikiri is what you possess. Hicho hicho ndicho utapokea. Get up. 
It is a huge financial debt. Not thousands, but millions. He says, easy. It is already cancelled. Amor 
What I want you to take out of his life that he took the stones and the woods that was used, that was going to be used to fortify him and wipe him out to build up his kingdom. What does that mean for you? See, many of you, you have been through some things. You've been through abandonment, rejection, abuse, Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Amen. You've been through rejection and abandonment. You've been through um, abuse. You've been through trauma. Probably all around you. And so many other different things that are taking place in your life that the enemy was trying to use to put you in bondage, to hold you in captivity, to keep you from possessing the promise. To keep you from moving in purpose. To literally kill you. But what God wants you to do. Is to learn to build like King Asa.
Nature's Room. And I came here. Yeah. Oh. My name is Rosalie. And I came here the first time on Wednesday. And so after when? After the Monday. <laughs> <laughs> the first time she came here, it was on Wednesday. On the first day, yes, after the meeting. Some great restoration. Yeah. About prayers. She got a great, great revelation. Okay, then uh, the following day. The, I was I've been praying about many things. I'm a, I'm a so and what was preached uh, about the seven mountains? about influence Okay, whatever. So after the seven after the preaching of the seven mountains I after your mafundisho, I found very many answers alipata majibu nyingi that I needed. Zenye ye alikuwa nataka. And on the third day, na siku ya tatu, it was about finances, ilikuwa about pesa, which I received a heavy breakthrough. Enye alipata breakthrough. Yeah. Glory! Yeah. The last thing. Alipata upenyo. Thank you, Misha. <laughs> And the same day, Na yos, 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 I, I also got so many answers to my ministry. Alipata majimu nyingi kwa huduma yake. Yes, and I thank God for that. Na nashukuru mungu kwa sabo biya hiyo. That is all God bless you. Na niliwa. Jesus, glory to God, bless you, Apostle Rose, amen, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Can I get two more ladies? Another mountain is the education. 
ni masomo. So every for the uh, the Bible says. Tu bila na sema. You need to read. Uh, you need to read. Ni kikuwa 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 Oh, yeah. 
of the government, you you should know Christ. So that you know, that even as so you go you go to the, to to work in the in the government offices, you may affect the government. Praise the name of the Lord. Another something I I was reminded of is rejoice, rejoice in the Lord. And again I say rejoice. So we should be joyful people. Let me tell you a secret. Uh, when you hear of joy, if you see the fruit of the spirit is love, the next one is joy. So the Christian should be the most joyful people. And let me tell you another secret. Is, is that joy is an anointing. Amen. The Bible says Sema, that Christ was anointed with the joy. Christo, na upako wa furaha. So even if you don't have the oil, Come, if you don't have anointing oil, if you don't, have, you don't have the anointing oil, Come, uh, now you have joy, you are anointed already. So let us rejoice as Christians. Praise the name of the Lord. Let us not people live like people who have been uh, who have been oppressed by the evil and that uh, you you have no joy in your heart. So the, the other point I learned yesterday, I was reminded yesterday of how to be uh, how to read. Even as I talk with we, we, I talk I talk of reading is the yesterday's message when the children of Israel was we are crossing the, the Red Sea. Okay, when So, so, what, are, what pleased me most is that the Lord is, God, even as he dried the Red Sea, he is going to dry our problems. He is going to dry our pain. He is going to dry our pain. He is going to dry our fear. He is going to dry everything that is of God. So problems are seas. They are rivers. But God will dry all of them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. One more person. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Many has been spoken. Like, but she has two things. Uh, we was told kila mtu akona kazi yake ya kufanya. Number two. Kitu ya pili. Sharon taught us. Apostle Sharon. About the temple. About Hekalu. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Sisi ni Hekalu ya Rom Takatifu. Nanika Jibudisha. And she learned. Usikule kila kitu. You shouldn't eat everything. Akasema. She said. Wawe mwenyewe ni daktari. You yourself, you are a doctor. Na with experience. Na. Ujuzi. Nilikuwa na uma na magoti. She she had pain in her knees. Akasema maji ni dawa. Water is water is a medicine. Na nikaanza kupunywa maji mengi. And she said and she started taking a lot of water. Na sasa hizi si dawa na magoti. And she had pain in her knees anymore. Akasema she said tunawajenga kwa sababu ya kupunywa sukari nyingi. We we get sick because we take a lot of sugar. Nani kasema nitaridus sukari. 
and she says she's going to reduce her intake of sugar. She's taking tea with no sugar on. So she became a doctor. Hallelujah. <laughs> so what we're gonna be kiria tempo di kuaribu na baby sex? Many people think that the temple. Okay, our dream interpretation is your Nenoya, Temple of the Holy Spirit. Hey, can you around Takatifu? What we're going to be clear, Migono? Many people think it's. But God says, if you destroy the temple, God destroys you. You shouldn't be a person who eats everything. If ask people in Kenya, if you find. Yeah, you eat. <laughs> you eat corn. corn <laughs> you eat sugar cane on the road. Then you get sick. You don't know who cooked the food. So you shouldn't go and eat around. You shouldn't eat everything. Some other times the believers give us a burden of praying for them. And you are the one who looked for the sickness. You go eating African meat, sausage. Uh, it has stayed for two weeks. And then you get sick. You give, you give the ministers a, a burden of praying for you. So she learned. You shouldn't eat everything. Hallelujah. To maintain this temple. I'm grateful. She is happy. Because of the teachings. As a preacher, she has she gained wisdom from Wednesday. She doesn't eat everything. We worked with Apostle with Mom. We say, do you say okay? As Africans, we since we Africa, we eat a lot of fufu. The whole day. We worked for the whole day. We almost we were we was hungry. <laughs> but then she re, she remembered mom's teaching. <laughs> the time that she said <laughs> she used to take a lot of French fries <laughs> and she gained a lot of weight. Now now I'm gonna six she is 66 years old. So So she was hungry. She looked at her. She compared her years and her years. She saw you have a lot of years. And she, you look younger than her. You look Because she loves French fries a lot. If you want to, uh, to get her into temptation, you should tempt her with French fries. chips out. French fries out. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, how we take a lot of salt. If the food doesn't have a, if the food doesn't have enough salt, she's just going to eat it like that. So she learned. Mimi ni daktari. She is a doctor. Now we will be going to be So five years from now, she will be younger than her. <laughs> Praise God. Oh, Lord. And it's amazing. Like I told you a couple of weeks ago, this is like our little Oscars here. Do you know a woman that is making contributions? 
within society. Then let's honor her together with an I Am Her International Award, where we are honoring women with over 50 categories to celebrate them in business, ministry, arts and entertainment, in media, in government and in family. In addition, we have some distinctive awards and we're honoring our youth that's on fire. Go ahead and visit www.iamherinternational.com slash awards and honor her on today. The purpose of the I Am Her International Award is to honor the contribution of women within the world. Our goal is to celebrate women who are making a difference and encouraging others to come forth and own their sphere of influence unapologetically. I won, honey, I won! <laughs> Woo, hallelujah. I know how they felt at the Golden Gloves now. Woo. Visit www.iamherinternational.com slash awards to nominate a deserving woman today without delay.